update you guys we have officially arrived in palm springs technically but oh my god you guys look at this traffic leaving palm springs it is labor day today monday so i was telling sasha all these people came to palm springs for the weekend and now they're going home hey guys welcome, welcome back, back to our us. channel it's, it's a brand new day with the days of the lion family i'm cleo and i'm sasha and we are back in palm springs Yay! For today's video, we will be taking you guys on our Palm Springs journey back home where we have not been in two and a half years. We're going to show you guys where we live, the places that we used to go hang out at, where we were, just reminiscing old times. Let's do it! Of course it looks new because there's a lot of buildings this is where I used to work. And they're busy of course. <laughs> this place is bomb. La that, yeah, Las Casuelas is really good. Um, we're actually going to pass by the, um, the dance academy. Oh my god guys, they actually closed. We're gonna go to our old place. We're gonna show you guys where we used to live. This is so exciting. We haven't been here since two and a half years. Two and a half years, that's crazy. Here, Grand, yeah. Canyon Rock. Rock. There you go. There it is. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, so. 103, yes. House, you guys, and it's 103A, but we were on 103B, which is this side right here. Dude, we live right there. Okay, you guys hear that sound? Hold on. Okay, you hear that loud buzzing sound? Those are cicadas. This is why we left. Honestly, yeah. Ooh, just you hear that? Them. We live on bomb trees and your house. Oh my god, you feel that heat? I remember this heat. Do you hear them? Oh my god, they're so fucking loud. If you guys don't know what cicadas are, look them up. They look like fat ass cockroaches. That fly, yeah. They if fucking you fucking fly. If you guys keep up with our videos, we went we spoke about this already. But look, you guys, 103. I remember I would always drive up with my bike right there. And Leo would be waiting for you by the window. Yes, that's the window that he would. Ch Trip out. My mom took some, um, like little palm trees, and they're growing in her house. Yeah, she took like a tiny little thing, and then también the Two. Olivera, huh? And yeah. And it's actually growing. Yeah, like the one you guys see right there. Mm -hmm. My mom took one, and it's growing. Shout out to my mom. She's like, Antes de irnos, let me take some pop trees. I know, Olivera. Okay, guys, so now we're gonna drive up to the mansions that we are talking about. So, y'all know that when we say something, it's not because we're exaggerating, but we're not lying. We're not, we don't like the you. We don't like, I know. we don't lie. Okay, so we would always go on little walks, literally down the street, right here. Yeah, right here. And these houses are like multi-million dollar homes. Like, the higher up we go, the more insane they get. Yeah. Ooh, let's take them to the cool ones that are up there. That there's like an igloo and it looks like the Flintstones. I, hold on. It was just up to, there. And no, no, no. Just remember. keep going. No, you just keep going. Oh my God. And then there's this one house that has beautiful lions outside. Yeah, we would just we would just go on our walks. It's because if you walk it, it's easier to see all these really nice homes. Like, it's kind of hard to record them because a lot of them are very covered with, as you can tell, all these like shrubs and trees because obviously they want their privacy, you know? Um, but when we would walk up here, like, dude, it was beautiful. Yeah. You can look, see, like, yeah, look, there's a cool one, but there's some that are up there. Sorry, people, don't mind us recording your homes. We used to live. Yeah, we used to live here. That looks like an eagle to me. 
looks pretty cool to be honest. These are Sasha's lions that she would always like love to come look at. They're so beautiful. And yeah, this house literally takes up this entire block. Like, no lie. This is where it starts. Yeah. It's huge. Like, it's ginormous. It goes all the way, and it literally wraps all the way around still, like, around the street. Like, some of these houses are in ginormous lots. Yeah, we'll show you guys. We're about to show you the hotel we lived in. You're wondering where we lived when we moved in Palm Springs? Here it is. Tropics. This is where, if you guys watched our first first video, we told you guys we lived at a hotel in Palm Springs when we first moved to Palm Springs, and we lived off of um, PB and J sandwiches. sandwiches. This is where we lived, you guys. And look, and we actually lived right across up there because here's the pool. Yeah, we lived at the one at the top. Yeah, the top floor. And and we had yeah, that was the life of Papa Johnny out here. And then since I didn't work for like a cool minute, um, because we only had one vehicle, me and Leo, after we would drop off. first had to move here is because when I first came to Palm Springs for the first time ever for my first interview I came with just my mom and this is the hotel that we so happen to stay at so like we didn't know of any other hotel really so that's why we just ended up here honestly it's a pretty cool hotel though like it has like a little Hawaiian vibe and like if you go inside they have like a little tiki bar yeah and they have like little fire pit things like it's, it's actually really kind of cute. cute yeah we lived up there and one yeah, of these I want to say it's like, are you yeah, swimming <laughs> Okay, um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with keeping up with the Kardashians, obviously, duh, but remember when the girls got stranded on the side of the It was literally like right here where they were driving that like old school car and then remember when they went to go visit their grandparents home that they said that they would go to very often when they were younger? Well, that's literally this um, like little onion sound the head right here. These are the little houses where um, their grandparents used to live at. A little history of keeping up with the Now we're driving to my old job, which is in Cathedral City. Yeah, this is Palm Canyon Road, you guys. It basically can take you from Palm Springs all the way to Indio. Like, you literally just drive down. It's also known as Highway 111. I used to work on Ginatri. Oh yeah, that was another job you had. Yeah, when you the invitation. That was also the way to where we would when we would go to the um, water park. Water park, park. We Wet and to, Wild. We used to love the water park. Yeah, place. Wet and Wild, but they took it down. Yeah, now it's called something else. Yeah, and it's not Wet and Wild no more. Yeah. This is where I got in a fight with the kid. At Boomers, this is where Steph got in a fight with literally like a fucking child because he kept spraying us on the little water thing and then she wanted to square up with his older brother. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> I was able to find some clips for you guys. Hey, what's good? 
Look how happy I was just minding my own business. These motherfuckers hella got me. Fucking assholes. I told them I was gonna beat them that I was gonna throw them in the fucking pool and I was gonna beat their ass. And look where they're at now. Where they're supposed to be far from me. And then we're gonna go to Steph's old job. Yeah, my old job. I was like, I wonder if my manager still works there. Oh my god, and there is a furniture store over there, Liz? They closed! It's not there anymore? No! This is where we bought all of our four. Furniture. More furniture. For less, like yeah. And Steph used to literally go all the time when she was working. She would just cross the street because they used to give cookies and um, popcorn and shit. You're yeah. probably the reason why they had to close down, bro. You <laughs> ate too many fucking cookies. Shut up. <laughs> this place, Castaneda, is like the food, like price wise, is pretty bomb, but it would always give me diarrhea, low key. But I kept going because, you know. <laughs> I was trying to cross the street from your job. Yeah. Oh, and we used to go to this Target all the time. This is where we found some really cute Halloween deco one year. Yeah, we did. We hella came up. Dude, no. I left work for that shit. Shut up. Remember the time that I literally walked in the middle? Like, not in the middle. I walked from work because I worked, like, down the street. Um, and it was the next day where everything's half off. And I, I brought a carrito to Target all the way over here. You took the carrito? Yes, well, because I bought a bunch of shit. Oh my god, they're oh, closed. I think they're closed. Oh, they closed for the day. Oh. Okay, well, this is the car wash that stuff worked at, you guys. There's a homeless guy out there. Oh, that's cool. They put little shade? Yeah, dude, before we didn't have this. But, but I mean, really that though. The, yeah, know, what the fuck? Really like, that doesn't even make sense. Dude, what is this? But we didn't even have this. Like, we were just, I'm dead ass serious. Like, I do. I always used to vacuum cars right there in this heat that's like what? It's 103. Right? 103 degrees. Imagine. Like, ooh, and then you prep them down there. Bruh. I worked. I worked. Sweating her feet. Dude, dead ass. <laughs> you used to sweat like crazy. Yeah. That was job number no. Yeah, this is right. Oh yeah, that was my first job. That's true. That was my first job. Now we're at Rancho Mirage. This is like the put it this way. This is where Barack Obama has his house. Yeah. <laughs> In Rancho Mirage. Yeah. So when you first enter Palm Springs, it's Palm Springs, Cathedral City, Rancho Mirage, Palm Desert, and then Indio. Or La Quinta. La Quinta? Yeah, or Indio. It's either La Quinta or Indio. I don't know. We, we would barely go that far, to be honest. Like, after Palm Desert, that's usually as far as we went. So, yeah, this is where Obama has his house. Obviously, all of these um, cities are pretty, you know, affluent and, and really nice, to be honest. But um, Cathedral City is like, eh, whatever. Palm, De Palm Desert is nice as well. And then, obviously, Rancho Mirage, really, really nice. And Palm Springs is obviously nice as well yeah they're all that it's just crazy because we're driving by and we're looking for all our spots and like yeah we're like oh that's our last spot oh it's gone it's gone, gone. oh that's the dollar tree we used to go to oh it's gone the furniture store gone. it's gone yeah our like, taco spot this girl says it's like an acting place now i'm like what like, yeah that's where we used to always go eat tacos taco tuesday and leo would yeah. get his chicken taco plain I used to tell Cleo all the time, like, man, like, I want to go back and visit in Palm Springs just because it's so pretty. And I finally, like, convinced her to come and bring me. It's nice to come back and reminisce. Definitely recommend it if you guys have never been. Just to, you know, come and enjoy. It's definitely not, like, to come and get hype. Although yeah. there is things to do, like, like all the pool downtown part, yeah. and stuff. But <laughs> it's more like a chill vacation, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and sightseeing which is what we enjoy doing you know yeah um so um well definitely we're gonna hang out here till like a little later so we might get some nighttime action for you guys where there's like live music thursdays right was it thursdays baby yeah thursdays in downtown palm springs there's this they shut down like the downtown area and there's a really cool like a not a farmer's market it's, it's like, like a, a 
flea market like a, kinda. Yeah, and there's it's I don't know. It's like a boot really cute paintings from this nice like artist that was like coming up and um from there he moved to vegas huh cleo yeah he moved to and vegas. he he's like he has like a he's making money off of that he's living off of that now like they're really nice but tell me where our paintings are and it, they weren't cheap either but they're probably in a box yeah and they're probably ruined because man like by the time we moved back we were living on my parents for how long for like a year and then we had our stuff in storage room and then we were house hunting after for like a whole year and then we finally moved and we still have shit about and we still <laughs> but we don't talk about that. but yeah let's not talk let's not talk about that mm -hmm. um but yeah we still have stuff in boxes like it's crazy guys like just the come up was real <laughs> So after we moved out of the hotel, this is where we moved to, which is a condo in Cathedral City, um, which was also a temporary home before we moved to our little duplex house. So it is gated. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to go in. Sasha says we can walk in. Um, let's see what happens so we can show you guys. This is the one that we said I had a little, um, oh my God, this place burned down. That's crazy. I don't remember what it was, to be honest. Um, but it's in Lake View. Is the gate open? Uh, let me go back. You said we can walk in. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, there's the there's a little. Uh, Do you door. need the key? I think you I need don't a key. Know. Check. And it's gated. So let me see if it's open here. Oh, it's locked, you guys. We're trying to come inside. More than anything, we were trying to show you guys a little lake so you guys can see how cute it was. Maybe show you some turtles or something, you know? But unfortunately, we don't have a code to get in and it's locked to walk in. Yeah, and I, I'm telling her I can't remember the, the I don't address. I remember our address of where we live because I think that's all it was, but. It's just the number, yeah. yeah. But oh well, guys. We tried, but. This is where we get our fish tacos, you guys. It's early right now, that's why it's pretty dead. But in the nighttime, like it's packed. Packed, packed. My friends, these are the coffee. I mean, the grains. I got these shrimp and fish. We got the exact same thing. Yeah. Another one of our favorite restaurants. It's really pretty. downtown this is actually our spot to go to for drinks maracas and guess where we're heading to maracas to get some drinks this is downtown by the way it's popping at night time a few moments later
right guys, so we hope you enjoyed watching this video reminiscing with us on our Palm Springs days. Once again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye!